Hi, my name is Amanda. Welcome to my YouTube channel, This Novel Home. I am the homeschooling mom of seven children and the wife of one soldier. I am also a convert to the Catholic faith. I actually wouldn't say convert because I was a Christian before. I'm still a Christian, but now I'm a Catholic. And so today I'm so excited to show you our homeschool room. Now we've been through lots of different homeschool spaces and rooms because as an army family, we move a lot. Even though we stayed in the same post for seven years, we actually moved to three different houses while we were on post. As our family size changed and grew, we were able to move to different homes. So we have had lots of adjustments, lots of modifications, and we found some things that work really, really well for us. So I'm so excited to show you this space and give you, hopefully give you some ideas on how you can make your homeschool space work really well for you. Here's our giant book wall. This is from Ikea. Ikea is where we got most of our furniture in this room and it just contains all of our books. Now I'll go through a few things. We have this drawer set, which has come a little bit undone. So I need to readjust it, but it just has our snap circuits in here and some science supplies that I don't want the kids to get to real easily. We have lots of different sets of books, different categories, for example, science and math, math. We've got some art, all kinds of different books. And then down here we have different groupings of books. We've got board books for the little ones, some chapter books, easy readers, and our flashcards. On this bottom shelf, we have several baskets. And as you can see, some of the baskets have the handles turned inward. That is so that my one-year-old cannot get into those baskets quite as easily. So the ones that she can get into, we've got just some different toys for her to play with. Just a random assortment. They used to be more organized, but of course that just got tiresome to deal with. So now they're just blocks and animals. So that she can build with those or my two-year-old all right and then over here as a little tough to get out but i can get into it we've got a bunch of clipboards this one has our wooden marble run and this is just some extra supplies also because we do a catholic curriculum called mother of divine grace i have our books divided up into age groups and they're color coded with electrical tape and so then I just printed out, or I made out this chart that has a list of all the grades and the associated colors just to help keep us organized. Up above, we just have some decorations. I love this lighting. It makes such a big difference in the room. We have our thumbs up trophy, which has been a favorite feature in our homeschool. And we have our microscope and then just a file box of some papers up there. Moving on, we have another one of my favorite features, which is this cabinet set from Ikea. This is actually in their office section, and I love it because I can lock it. So in this one, we have some art supplies and just some random paper supplies. Over here, we just have a footstool. It's been great for kids to sit on, you know, sit next to me while they're working or reading, or for me to put my feet up. And then this is our puzzle board. And when it's not in use for puzzles, I just use it as a makeshift baby game. We have our printer and our plant, which has gotten a little sad. Just some fun things, um, baby group. Our electrical tape and marker for marking the books. We keep our scrunch maps in this basket. We also have some of the thinking putty, which is really cool. I've got a little organizer here that we keep our iPads. We have the iPad keyboard for my iPad. We have our pencil sharpener, the Exacto School Pro. Then this, we come to my desk. I wanted to make sure that I got to look out the window when I was sitting at my desk. That was really important to me. I keep my book here, 33 Days to Merciful Love that I'm working through. Oh, I also, I have our yardstick. This is just a magnet that I made. I have some different religious artwork, cards that mean a lot to me, an 
over here we have the cart. This cart, even though it looks like it can't come out, if you move it just right, you can actually move it in and out. And inside of here, I keep different um, liturgical prints, alphabet cards, different types of paper, some magazines that I really like. I also have some Flexion or Frixion pens and just some little odds and ends on the sides here. Down below is where I keep some more toys and little activities for the kids. And then on the very bottom is a baby toy and my knitting bag. I make sure I always have some knitting with me so that if I'm listening to someone read or doing a difficult math lesson with them, that's another, that's something that I can do that helps keep my mind calm, helps keep me more calm and keeps me from getting as frustrated. This is an alpha closet system from the container store. And yes, it was an investment. It definitely cost more than what I would ever expect to spend on school desks but man, has it really let us utilize all of this wall space. It has just been such a blessing. So I strongly recommend that if you need a solution and it's a little bit pricey, really think about whether or not that investment is going to be worth it because this has been worth every penny. Okay. So up here in this basket, we have our bingo supplies. We've got a couple books. This is a great book. I love that book. Every homeschooler needs to have it. Our plant that I'm trying to bring back to life. This fantastic book of Mr. Rogers poetry and songs. Down on this shelf is our music shelf. We have some different CDs, another sad plant, CD player with Bluetooth, our paper sorter, which is from the container store. And as you can see, my kids get into it and the paper gets pulled out. This is where I keep some of my teaching books. Then we have the bins color coded by child. This is for my preschooler. I normally do not do preschool, but she begged. And so I just have some old workbooks in here and then she really wanted her own school books. So I just grabbed something in Barnes and Noble and that's what she's using. Then we've got some coloring books. This is for my second grader. He has two bins and a binder. We've got some different um, sketchbooks. This is my fourth grader, my seventh grader, and then my junior is actually in public school. So she does not have to have a place here because she is um, obviously not learning at home. She's learning in public school. Then we just have these little baskets that came with the pantry set that we are no longer using. And so I use those to contain things like our markers down here. I use it to contain the cords. For the lights we've got different pens and markers and rulers and scissors and glue sticks and flashcards. oh we have this thing something else i'll feature on my favorites thing it's the learning right wrap ups which has been really neat and these scissors which are pretty cool because they are easier for kids to use and then i can keep them clipped in here so they're a little safer and my daughter's binder and just some more little learning games and Bob books. So underneath I installed some cabinet under cabinet lighting that plugs into the wall and it's actually just held on there by command hooks and the Velcro kind. So you can see there. So my sister and I just stuck those up there and these are a motion sensor. So they turn on and off with your hand. Um, you can also change the light so you have more of a warm light, daylight, or a bright white light. Okay, over here we've got some extra stools. Obviously, we've only got two chairs in here right now. That's not enough for all of our kids, so we bring in some stools when we need them. Over here we have a couple of posters. That one says, if it doesn't challenge you, it won't change you. This one says, do the right thing, even when no one is looking. And I really wanted my kids to get those two sayings in their brains and in their hearts. So I'm going to be adding some more art around the room. 
We've got a weather chart there. And I love this clock. It's a learning clock that shows the minute and hour and quarter past, half past, and so on. So it just makes it easier for them to learn how to tell time. Then we have our whiteboard, which is a magnetic dry erase board so that I can keep, you know, this is our pronunciation guide for Latin. Um, we have a calendar board. Fridays are always daddy school. I'll have to do another video about that because that has been a game changer in our homeschool. Moving on, this I got from Hobby Lobby because my kids, I thought they would really enjoy learning all of the different um, Morse code alphabet and the um, military, well, the phonetic alphabet. I can't remember what it's called now, but since my husband's in the army, I thought this would be helpful. So we don't refer to it a whole lot. It's more just decorative, but. And this is an extra table that we use quite often. We ended up just screwing the pencil sharpener, this pencil sharpener into it. So now we have two pencil sharpeners here and it has lots of storage on the side. I love this table. So in here we've got math manipulatives. This is from when we used to use Matthew C, but we still use the manipulatives. We have pentagrams in the bottom drawer. Over here, we have some abacai. Is that how you say it in plural? Abacai? Abacus? We have several abacus. That's how we'll say that. But, um, so we keep those in there. We've got some um, of the perler beads that we keep in here. And the bottom drawer holds bells that I don't get out very often because they're so, they're very loud. So this table flips out and you can actually pull it out and flip up both sides. But a lot of times we just flip up one side and because we have this double door here, we will actually pull it all the way over so that we can still get through this side, but it's blocking this side. And that way we have room. If people are working at the desk, then someone can be at this table doing crafts or whatever they want to do, putting together puzzles and it just works really well right there. So that is our homeschool. I hope you've enjoyed this tour of our homeschool room. I hope that you've gotten some good ideas for your own homeschool space. I'll make sure and do some more detailed videos in the future about some of our favorite things. So I'll try to make sure and remember to link in the description box below all of the different pieces that make up this room and where you can find those things. If there's something that I haven't linked to and you want to know where I found it, please comment below and I would be happy to share that source with you so that you can go out and buy it for your own homeschool room. And I also want to stress the importance of just working with the space you have. So we haven't always had a homeschool room. Um, there was one we just had the alpha shelf set up in our dining room. And so one half of it was dining room, the other half was homeschool. And so that was why we got the alpha shelves because it enabled us to have lots of storage in a very, very small space. So just kind of look at the space, look at what you're working with. And instead of pining away for some beautiful Pinterest worthy homeschool ginormous room, just figure out how to make what you have work for you. And if you get creative, there's so much that you can do with such as with even a small, small space. And this room isn't that large. I'm really grateful for it. It's bigger than what we have had but it's not huge. And so we just make every square inch work really, really hard for us. So I hope you have a wonderful day and I hope that I've been helpful. So again, please comment below. If you liked this video, please like this video. And I would love it if you subscribe to my channel so that you can join me in talking about homeschool and home and family and especially books. All right, I hope you have a great day. Bye-bye.